So what's different about it? New block, new heads, new bottom end, new valve train components. 91% of this engine is new compared to a 392 or the 6.4 litre Apache engine. So significant amount of change is required uh, in order to generate this amount of power. Obviously, sitting on top of it, one of the biggest changes, 2.4 litres per rev supercharger. We run, in, run this up to about 14,600 RPM um, and about just over 11 PSI boost. Um, twin integrated uh, charge air coolers, which are linked to the low temp cooling system, drags our air inlet temperatures down from about 120 degrees centigrade to about 60 degrees. About 80 horsepower to drive this thing at 6,000 RPM. All of that boost that we run basically puts a significant amount of load onto the bottom end of the engine. So where the naturally aspirated Apache engine runs about 80 bar peak firing pressure, on this engine we run about 110 bar peak firing pressure. It's a relatively large bore engine, 103.9 mil. So that results in 21,000 pounds of load on top of every piston every firing event. So five family sedans standing on top of each piston every time we fire the spark plugs. Quite a significant change to the bottom end of the engine. Oil pumps are upgraded as well. We pump more, more oil through the engine. Piston cooling jets that have a higher flow rate. Um, so really lots of extra work to try and harness all of that power. Every single engine is dyno tested for 42 minutes prior to delivery to the customer. Also, getting injectors that can physically flow enough fuel is quite a problem. So, these injectors flow 600 cc's a minute. If we actually squirted them into a pint glass, they'll fill a pint glass in seven seconds. And in order to get that fuel into the engine, we have to run um, a variable pressure pump in the car. So we run at two bar at idle, and then we ramp that up to five bar at rated power, just because we can't get enough fuel through the injectors or we would have to have so large an injector it wouldn't idle. So we've got this trade-off between making the engine idle okay and then being able to put enough fuel in it at rated power. We really felt that port injection was the right option. By the time you look at all of the friction it's really producing 800 and something for